Thank you very much. Joined now by the coach, Jack Armstrong. And Jack, the top three picks went as expected. Anthony Edwards goes first overall. Do you agree with the pick or would you have gone in a different direction? You know, it's funny, Kate. I have my piece of paper. I sat down this morning after I had breakfast and wrote down, you know, my top three picks. And I also wrote down who I thought the Raptors would pick. And I had James Wiseman from Memphis, who I just loved. Uh, now, obviously, he only played three games for them, but uh, this kid's an intriguing talent. Uh, I liked him the best on the board. And then Anthony Edwards, and I had two, and LaMelo Bell, La 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 Bell at three. So uh, when it's all said and done, uh, it kind of played out pretty much. You knew who the top three were. Uh, but to me, I, I liked Wiseman a little bit more than Edwards. But nonetheless, I think Minnesota had a very good night tonight, uh, really upgrading their perimeter talent base. So on that piece of paper, I'm sure you had the Raptors selecting Malachi Flynn at 29. What did you think of this selection? And I do, Jack actually. Oh, no, you didn't. You're a liar. There's no way. I want to see I that do. piece of paper I'm when not. we're done. It's this. right here. All right. It's right all here. right. I, don't, right I, don't, I can't see it, Jack, but I'm going to take your word for it because you're a good man. Okay, so you selected Malachi Flynn. So did the Raptors at 29. But, Jack, this is another guard now. <laughs> we know the Raptors have a lot of big decisions to make, but how does he fit positionally right now on the team? Well, first and foremost, they're 100 times smarter than I am. That's for sure. Uh, you know, the reality is this. Uh, you know, it's interesting. You watch it. I end up watching a lot of late games, you know, NBA games, West Coast games. And I got an opportunity to watch San Diego State quite a bit this year. And I just fell in love with his game. I mean, I think he's a tremendous leader. Uh, he's an old-fashioned lead guard. He can score. He's terrific off the screen and roll. He can shoot the ball. He's a tenacious competitor, good defender. He's got to get stronger. But in this league, you got to have good playmakers. And I think he's a tremendous addition. And quite frankly, when you look at him playing with a Kyle Lowry and hopefully with a Fred Van Vliet as well, I think that's a, a tremendous place for him to break in. And by the way, his alma mater is San Diego State. There's another San Diego State guy who could potentially be a free agent next summer. Maybe he can lure him <laughs> back to Toronto. Is he on that piece of paper too, Jack? No, but I'll put him on there if it helps bring him <laughs> back. That's for sure. We might take you up on it. Appreciate it as always. The coach, Jack Armstrong.